and welcome to your Richard Cooking's Ruffled Milk Pie. This is a very economical Greek dessert. Incredibly simple, looks impressive. We've got a 22 centimeter or about a nine inch cake pan here. You can use a pie plate if you like. We have got some baking paper or parchment paper scrunched it all up and then pushed it back in there and it will actually hold its shape if you scrunch it up it's sort of breaking the back of the paper if you like but that is not why it's called a ruffled milk pie grease that put it to one side preheat your oven to 180 degrees celsius we've got some eggs here we're just going to break those into a bowl pretty confident these are fresh eggs and i don't have to break them first <laughs> famous last words okay in with our pure vanilla extract and just some granulated sugar. Now we're just gonna whiz this all up until it's nice and frothy and add our milk. Now we have phyllo pastry or phyllo pastry. I don't know who invented this stuff, but it's very clever. It is incredibly thin, really, really delicate. If you're not gonna use it straight away, cover it with a damp tea towel because it will crumble up and be impossible to work with. We're just gonna brush each one of those sheets with some melted butter. You can use clarified butter, which is probably what you should be using. Now, if I was going to be after a crispy finish on this, I would be using clarified butter because milk solids in this are actually gonna stop it from getting too crispy. But because it's gonna be soaked in milk anyway, it doesn't really matter. So just brush that all over with our butter, which has just been melted. Okay, and then we just scrunch this all up with our fingers, roll it in a circle if you like. See, it's starting to get a bit difficult with these lights. And then we just roll it around in a little, like a circle. See where I'm going with this? And pop it in the center of our prepared pan. Don't make it too tidy because it's a ruffle pie. All right, continue with the rest. And now you're going to have to come around the outside of it like so. You can do a little individual uh, like rosettes if you like. They look like a little bit of a flower on an individual dessert. That looks really pretty too, but I'm doing this so that I can slice it and it'll have like the swirls all the way through the batter. Essentially, it's a custard. <laughs> Don't lick your fingers when you're separating these. Not very hygienic. It really does look like paper though. Start at a different section so that it looks like, like that and continue with the rest. Okay, lucky last sheet, and it's gonna be a little bit snug to put that into our pie because it's pretty well filled it up. Oven has come to temperature now. This is pretty quick, much quicker than making and rolling out pastry. Okay, so we just have to push it around to the center so we can get that in there. Now we're gonna bake this for about 20 minutes, 180 degrees until it's crispy and golden. And that gives us time to work on our milk and egg mixture to make sure all of that sugar is dissolved. So that's it, pretty isn't it? it? Looks like an apple rose. Okay, into the oven, 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. Now we want to completely dissolve the sugar in this, but we don't want it all sort of, it's gotta be a custard so it can't be too aerated. We're not trying to turn it into the beginning of a sponge or anything like that. This is actually a Greek dish and it's <laughs> for all you Greek people that forgive my pronunciation. Galatopita, maybe? Galloping Peter? Whew, who knows? Once that sugar is all completely dissolved, we're gonna add our milk. By that time, our pie will be ready to remove from the oven and we just pour it over top of it. Cook it for another 25 to 30 minutes until it's set. Sprinkle it with a bit of cinnamon. Whew beautiful okay happy with that now it's completely dissolved we just pour in all of our milk all at once full cream milk that's where it gets its name from and the ruffles come from the little crinkly pastry pieces that's it how easy is that Okay, after 25 minutes, this is what you should have. It's really quite crispy, and we're going to just ladle our gorgeous custard over the top of it. It'll probably sis a little bit when that happens because it's so hot and it's fresh from the oven. But we want a fairly even, see it's sort of sink, sinking down, a fairly even mix in there. And then we're gonna pop it back in the oven and cook it just until that custard sets. Sprinkle it with a little cinnamon before it goes into the oven, just for a bit of color. Try and spoon a little bit into every one of those little folds. Okay, that's it. Little sprinkle with some cinnamon now from a height, get it a little bit even. And into the oven until that custard is set. Okay, hot from the oven and we just stick a knife into the center of it. When it comes out clean and there's no milk stuck to it, you know that it's done. It'll lift out quite easily with our baking paper as I showed you. Just lift it out. 
and then slice it. We're just going to dust that with a little icing sugar just prior to serving and remove it, put it onto a serving plate. It's light and puffed and risen. It smells amazing. I hope you enjoy this little cooking demonstration of Cheeky Richo's ruffled milk pie. If you would like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel. And don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon. We've got so much more to show you. As you can see the little ruffles all through the center of the pie with the custard all melded through it. It's nice and crispy on top. Serve it with a strawberry to cut through the richness and there you have a delicious, easy, pretty impressive looking dessert mm -hmm. that takes no time to cook.